You asked for it. Here it is. So I've gone ahead and put every monument, all 46, in Ulm, level 3. Every nation that can occupy this province will be able to use them and upgrade them. If they occupy the province, they'll, of course, drop down a tier, but they can always spend 7,000 ducats and upgrade them again. So we'll see if Ulm can actually truly pop off and take over the world. These modifiers are insane. You can see it's only 16 mana to dev the province, and I'm sure they're going to hyper dev this province to like 60 in a matter of a few years. Let's hop into the Observer and see how they do. Castilian Succession War. Castile is a junior partner under England. It is 1453, and England gets a PU on Castile. Oh my god. Okay, a lot of unification wars going on. Austria is going down their mission tree because they lost land to Poland. They're going to declare for um, unification. Like likely means that they're eventually going to try and get Bohemia as well. Looking at Ulm, they're up to 30 dev. All right, easy union for Austria. Finnish conquest of Neva. So Denmark is going into Novgorod before Muscovy. That's pretty good for them, I suppose. Um, they lost Sweden, however. Sweden's in this war. They might have lost the Union mid-war. Yeah, I would think that's what happened. Burgundian Succession War. Junior partner under Austria. Austria is having huge games lately. Absolutely massive games. Austria's going to win this war, no problem. Yeah. They call the PLC in. 38 dev in their capital and they're building a fort. Okay. Okay, well, they're finishing up their espionage ideas. At least they're going economic. They're going to hopefully dev up once that's done. For the third time, Austria takes dev from Wallachia. This one up from 32 to 35 dev in Vienne while piecing them out for no provinces. Dude, what is their ruler stats? A 666. I don't think any of the um, monuments give bonuses to ruler stats, do they? Just got naturally lucky? I forgot they were a republic. All right, guys, round four. The fourth conquest. The fourth Austrian conquest. Oh, they upgraded their center of trade finally. Level two. And on all, they're at 51 dev. Waiting for them to go to war. I mean, they have planes on everything around them. Check back in at Ulm. 59 dev in Ulm right now. I have not seen two centers of reformation in Northern Italy in probably a long time. Jeez, they, what are these rulers, my guys? 645566, Henry Lancaster. England, you're freaking crazy, my dude. Oh, what's going on here? Ulm. Ulmer Conquest of Donaworth. So it looks like they're finally pulling an aggressive move. They called in a bunch of allies. They're up 10 war score here. Almost at 68 dev, they definitely pillaged somebody. 99 war score here. Okay, peaced out. They took nothing. Okay, interesting. At least they pillaged somebody. I don't understand why that happens so often. This is probably uni Unification War. Yep, there it is. They're trying to get the PU on Bohemia. And they're gonna get it. All right, Ulm is back to war with the war goal of, I'm guessing just that province there. Yep, Venice is wrecking Milan. All right, Milan is now a one prop. No, they're got full annexed. That was quick. Venice is doing very well this game. And it looks like Ulm pieced out again. Pillaging to 75 dev in their one province. They don't want to blob, it appears. They do not want to blob. And they are at war with Savoy, with the Savoy Venetian Punitive War. Okay. Oof. That's a bummer. They're not going to win this one. Venice bit off more than he could chew. Ulm is probably going to get pillaged here. I, I don't see how they wouldn't get pillaged here, unless they're able to hold off with just flat out absurd amounts of Fort defense, 350% fort defense, by the way. Milan's back and they got their, all their cores from, from Venice, these two. And they they got spit out Protestant as well. Right away, Switzerland declares on them. Right away, Savoy declares on them. They're at war with... The guard again. Maybe they'll actually take provinces this time. They... kill Dev. They do not finish the war out. 
It probably is because they don't want to leave their trade league. Austria is beating the Ottomans. They declared the war. His Ottomans are weak because they are too high governing capacity and they end up releasing subjects. It looks like the Austrians have pieced out the Ottomans for a decent amount of land here. The truces are expiring. Maybe they'll take their neighbors again. We'll find out. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Alma is on the offensive again. All right, it appears Alma took a province from a non belligerent in the war. They're coring it up now. All right, um, here's Ulm pieced out. They did take this province. Also, they're already building here. Um, Farm estate, okay. That's good. And they're up to 94 dev here. Uh, they, I think they pillaged Lubeck, actually. Ulm is now a three-province nation. It took them a minute to start actually gaining some land here. Ulm's already at war here? Third Ulmer conquest of Stuttgart. Oh, okay. So the truce expired again. Maybe they'll actually take land for once. Yeah, they did dev this once. Okay, I like that. 103. Wow, all right. Almost moving again. They're at war with France. Third conquest of Orleans. And they have peaced out. Ulm is officially Protestant. 34 here too. 35 and 34. They must have had a lot of points to spare. They're level 13 tech. They're probably like two techs ahead of time. The only reason why they would just dump everything into these. Looks like France is getting obliterated here. Um, Lawrence declares on Savoy. Great Britain declares on France. France is defending Savoy, and that's why GB declares. And um, yeah, looks like they're losing. Oh no, guys. Almost pillaged for six dev. Went down to 97. And now they're they take that personally. They're building a bastion. Lawrence forms Tuscany. About that time of the game. Well, it looks like uh, Castile won their independence war against Great Britain, and now losing the reconquest of Granada. Well, France again is getting bodied by Austria. This is an Austria simulation game, guys. That's what I found out. Austria takes a lot of land and makes France release Gascony and Orleans or the Protestant League. Okay. Home? No, oh, buddy. Buddy. Alm was the off uh, offensive guy here. Is France in this war now? Yeah, they are in this war. But they're getting beat. Unfortunate, man. Poland, Austria, Portugal. France is not doing well. Russia's not going to help much either, are they? I don't know. Maybe they can pull a win here. Maybe. I don't think they can. This is just such a huge block that it's... It's not looking good. All right, let's say they pieced out Lithuania and gave some provinces to Russia as well as Poland. Um, let's check Ulm. We're sitting at 111 dev. That's looking pretty good. Ulm, Great Britain, and Russia versus the rest of them. That's not going to happen. Looks like Austria is going to beat up on Ulm. Probably they got off the siege. They got off the siege. This fort is not falling. Everyone keeps hopping off the siege. Austria's mad 64k stack. I think 117 troops fielded right now. Just Great Britain, Ulm left. That's it. Austria is massive. They finished integrating them too. Great powerless. 1227 AI Austria this game. Although Ulm still does have 111 dev in their capital. All right, checking back in on Ulm. I see they have some vassals now. Um, they have Coburg and Hess as vassals. All right, Ulm is on the move again. They're at war with... Brandenburg and Cologne, and it appears they have another vassal, so they've added Nassau to the list of vassals. That's something. At least they'll be able to grow via vassalization if Austria's boxed them in, so that's uh, promising for our late-game Ulm dream. They're building again. University. They're building universities in every province. Haha. <laughs> I guess that happens when you only have so many provinces and you're probably capped on money, I would assume. All right, Ulm is attacking these guys again for the fourth time. Um, we'll see if they actually take the province this time. Oh, they did it. They actually took a province. For the, the fourth time they're trying to conquest this province, they finally take it. That's, um, that's good. That's really good. Farmlands, again, great for deving. This area is so wealthy in terms of province value was 22 226 226 in these four provinces that's how much devs in this four provinces 226 not to mention their vassals they're not quite great power level but they're about halfway all right looks like almost back on the warpath against mains 
they are taking this province as the Wargle, Heidelberg. Ooh, really laggy now. Really laggy. A lot of wars going on. Okay. They full annex them. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. They connected their lands up here. The Gujarat Oyrat Punitive War. This is why I'm lagging. Oyrat is in a coalition with the entire world. Why? Why is this happening? They place a relative on somebody's throne and that's what messed everything up or what? Oh, they annex their other vassal. Nice. Looks like um, Ulm is in a war against Munster or Purge of Heresy. Why would they join in this war? Maybe Austria wasn't in the war when they, when they declared it. They're going to lose. Oh, they pieced out. Looks like it was a white piece. Or something. Maybe Munster lost, uh, or Berg lost some money. Oh, here's another war. These Austrians just starts building a crazy amount of troops. Um, Austrian conquest of Thyrim. Looks like Alma's at war with Galray. This is a war for the conquest of Alts. Alma really should occupy this stuff, but they, I think they're going to go try and pillage Landshut here. 43 dev, really? Oh, they're pillaging that for sure, my guy. 118, that's going to shoot up by a bit. Yeah, 122. Okay. Pillaged four from them. Oh, they pieced out, and they took three provinces. Granting this one to Cologne. Ulm has 447. We're coming up there. We're only a few spots away from a great power. As Ulm, just the AI playing. AI Ulm hitting the great power, possibly. But Ulm took a lot from Gelray. Three provinces. They just took this province from I don't know who. And now they're conquesting again. Um, over in to, towards these guys. They're on the warpath now. I think they finally hit the point where they're like, yeah, um, we can mess with anybody. They're sitting on 75k standing army now. Austria only has 114, uh, to put that in comparison. And Austria is the number one great power. Province of Ulm is at 127 dev from pillaging. We take a few provinces. That one they might have already had. I took this province instead of this one. Interesting. Yep, bordering Austria in another location. All right, it looks like Ulm is back on the warpath. 42% of that siege already. Um, conquest of Rothenburg. So just this guy here. Yep, they pieced out already. And they probably just plundered. Let's see. Um... Ulm, they got one, they got one dev out of that whole war. That's lovely. <laughs> oh, Ulm is back at war again. This is the Ulmer conquest of Fulda. I guess that's this province here. And they're at war with quite a few people, but they've called in their allies. And I guess they pieced out. Didn't want to march down to Rome. They just gave Berger province. All right, Ulm is back at war. They're occupying, or they're trying to occupy this province. Um... And they're in the war. They're in two wars. Ulmer Conquest of Bamberg and then the 13 Colonies War for Independence. We're going to see the USA this game. Bons gets pieced out. I think they pieced out of the whole war. It's entirely. Yep, they did. Didn't take that province. Although Ulm is now 10 dev higher than it was at the start of the war. So that's pretty solid. 149 dev here. Oh, no, they did take Bamberg. Okay, they took the province and they got a, they got 10 dev out of it. Newfoundland is on their side. Oh. Newfoundland is out of the war. And the United States has formed. Canada and the United States have formed. Oh, Ulm just got bigger. What happened here? I missed it. I missed the war. They just took two provinces off of uh, somebody over here. That was that must have been a quick war because I missed it entirely. The U.S. is at war with New Holland. Okay, it's about time. They're going to get all the East Coast here. We're going to see a big U.S. this game, I think. They'll rip through these colonies and the rest of the tribes, I think. Yep, the U.S. full annexes them. All right, Ulm is back at war with these guys, Goslar. And they take this province from a non belligerent Let's check the great powers here. Ulm is on the list. 765 developments in this small country. They've been devving hard. Wow. 
Three provinces from Saxony, one province from uh, Brunswick. Ulm is getting thicker and thicker by the day. And they're at war again. Burger Purge of Munster Heresy. Okay, so it's not Ulm's war. Allied to Great Britain already. See, this is a realistic world situation, although uh, quite early in terms of the independence and the time they allied Great Britain because they were still at each other's throats in the 1800s. Austria took a lot of land from France. Oh my, almost all of Normandy. 738 dev for Austria. 170k standing army. Ulm has 123, okay. Um, and Ulm is now conquesting Köln from um, Cologne. 174 dev in Ulm. As they pieced out Cologne. Nationalist war against Magdeburg. Nationalism CB is a thing now. And they're fighting Poland in this too. That's their rival, so they could get some power projection here. They're declaring all these wars here, but their coalition's too big that they're not going to take um, that much land. 177 dev in Ulm. 179 dev in Ulm. 182 dev in Ulm. 183... Or it looks like they took Anhalt in this peace deal. Um, Sweden lost Norway. How did that happen? The Ottomans are not strong in this patch. They've been being obliterated by just everybody. Russia's power creep has been crazy this game too. They've slowly been just gaining everything. And it looks like Austria has taken more of the Balkans. That puts the Ottomans below Ulm on the great power rankings. Ulm back on the warpath. Saxony. Nationalist war for Saxony. Austria building men. They went on the side of, of Saxony. Oh, they might end up winning this war. Uh-oh. That does not look good for Ulm. Oh, they're up plus 20. Yep, they're murking up. They're getting their manpower back pretty quickly. They're winning every fight. Up 53, 54 on this war. Wow, even with Austria coming in, Ulm's going to win it. And they pieced out. They took a few provinces. Wow. They took Metz from Lorraine. They took these from Austria, and they take this from Saxony. Interesting. Austria has a their uh, dynasty on the Poland's and Lithuania's throne. Would not be surprised if they got a mega PU over either. Ulm back at war again. Nationalist war against Strasbourg. Ulm is at 191 dev. They took three dev in that war. That was it. Warp with three dev. Ulm at war again, this time with Brunswick. They take something from Saxony, it looks like. Three provinces from Saxony. And they piece out Brunswick. Ulm is at 205 dev. Austrian Ulmer Nationalist Order. Austria declares war on Ulm. Ulm needs to consolidate their units. They're, they're taking bad fights without generals. Oh, they won. Oh, it's not looking good for Ulm. Dude, where's your, where's your mega stack? Come on, you got a mega stack. They pieced out. Why does it say you're only at war with Castile? Wait a minute. I see. Wow, okay. So Austria pieces out because they um, went to war with with Poland, Lithuania um, to stop the PU of Lithuania by Poland. So they peace out of this war. But Steel is somehow still in in the war against Ulm. Which um I'm not entirely sure why that would be a thing. Maybe somehow this war broke the um the current war. Well it looks like Ulm is gonna occupy some of Brandenburg here. They might take some provinces there. Ulm caught a lucky break there. And they take Magdeburg from Brandenburg, as well as Ruppen and Uckermark. Ulm back at war again. Third Ulmer Magdeburgian Nationalist War. And uh, Austria snipes the PU on Lithuania. They weren't strong enough already. They have to get Lithuania as a PU first. The United States is looking very thick over here. And I'm actually surprised how well Lapan is doing. Um, that's interesting. So Ottomans released Syria as a vassal and now Syria is independent. I'm not sure how that happened, but it appears Persia is beating the Ottomans in uh, in their wars. They must have fallen too far behind uh, due to the Austrian conquest that the Ottomans got beat up by Persia. And they're at war again, Second bergen Cleveland National War, Nationalist War, so it looks like the Burgers trying to go back to war with Cleves. Again, I hope they get Frankfurt. That's a little eyesore in the middle of uh, Ulm's country. Oh, they do give it to him. Great power list, Ulm was number two, ahead of Great Britain, 1640 in the dev. 
course, Austria is now fighting the Ottomans again. And Persia's looking really thick over here. Holma's back at war with Austria. And they declared on Brandenburg for... Altmark. Nationalist war. Austria is rather going to have to finish up their war with the Ottomans here. Because most of their men are all down here. They got like 80,000 down here. Another 80,000-ish over here in Anatolia. So these guys are just getting steamrolled over here. 142k on the side of Ulm. Go back and forth here. 90,000 Ulm death stack marching around with a three-star general. 446. Every single province over here in France is occupied. Minus 54 now in the war goal. They're starting to occupy Lithuania. Lithuania has a thick amount of Scandinavia here. Oh, looks like they pieced out. That's a lot of land. Well, they must have finished a mission. It appears they have all these claims down here in the Swabia area. Maybe they always had those. And they're back at war right away. Provinces is one, two, three, four, five. It's, they, they took two provinces from Brandenburg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine provinces from Austria in this war. And they're back again at war in a burger war. Again, nationalist war against Cologne. Fourth time they've declared this war. Again, maybe they give one of these provinces to Ulm. And it appears that revolutionary Persia and revolutionary Italy have the same exact flag. Oh no, Ulm is pink. They formed Swabia. And Swabia is back at war with Austria again. Looks like they pieced out. They just took land from Austria. More provinces. One, two, three, four, five. They took one from Stettin here. They did not take Weimar. And they revoked their guarantee on Berlin. Oh. If they, I think that if they have Berlin and then either Hamburg or Lübeck, they'd be able to form Germany, I think. That almost puts them above Austria in the Great Power Rankings. 2058 puts them above Russia again. The amount of dev that they've just managed to pump into this country here is absurd. 238 dev in Ulm currently. They might take more from Den Haag. They occupied Berlin. They take both of them. That's huge. So close. Eight dev away from the number one spot. And just like that, guys, Swabia is the number one great power from Ulm. To number one great power, Swabia, 1760. 312k standing army. Austria has 177. They keep un 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 sieging this stuff. Oh! Interesting. So they take all of it and then release two more provinces? That's so strange. Yeah, I just tagged into them. Their governing capacity is basically half. They've extended administration to plus 440 here. And still, they release these two provinces. I, I don't I don't quite get it. Unless um, it was a return on lawful territory from Austria, which it might have been. Oh, here we go again. Swabia back at war with Austria. The second swabian Lumbergian nationalist war for Weimar. Yet, I keep noticing that the AI is walking around with only cannon stacks. Everything else is mercs. So they're only building cannons and they're using mercs for everything else. So they keep marching around with just cannons, like this is just a cannon stack, and it just gets obliterated like that. I don't know what the AI is doing. Alright, they pieced out, and it looks like they took... two provinces from Austria, and all these provinces up here. So they got, they got Weimar and Lubeck. Stettin, Scandinavia. Stettin has really popped off here. This one is the... Third Swabian Strasburgian Nationalist War. Maybe they'll actually take it this time. That might be a stretch, though. Well, that was actually a rather quick war. They ended up 100%ing um, everyone, basically. And they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces. And they finally take Strasbourg. And now they're back at war with, uh, with somebody in the French Aragonese Imperialist War. So the French are declaring on Aragon. And uh, Swabia honors the call. Marching down here with so many men. 556,000 right now. Nobody probably even comes close to them. Let's look at the uh, ledger here. Yeah, Revolutionary Bengal actually is 528,000. Uh, then it comes Persia. Coming in with about 350,000. I'm surprised Bengal has that many men. They must have went uh, quantity. Quality. Defensive. Yeah, Bengal's ideas are really strong here. Oh, ho, ho, guys. The war ended with France, and uh, Bobia forms Germany. From Ulm to Germany, 
from one province to 3,000 dev as it just ticks up with their dev clicks. Germany has formed from Ulm. That is a successful AI campaign, if I don't say so myself. So Austria jumped up with a great power list, I'm assuming. Yep, 2567 after inheriting or integrating them. We're going to have another big war here. Germany versus Austria and Poland. Plus probably a few others. We can get all 291 dev in this capital. That's probably going to go up. Whoa, there's a recruitment drive. 718,000 now. Looks like Poland gets separate pieced out of the war. They did snake into Poland. They took quite a few provinces, actually, in the separate peace deal. Oh, there's the peace deal. And they released Bohemia. Looks like Germany's at war with uh, Austria again. They've declared nationalist war for Magdeburg. Oh, France got a lot of their cores back in that peace deal with uh, Austria, too. I never realized that as well. The good thing that Germany's allied to them, even though they have claims all over that area. Looks like Ulm has passed the 300 dev mark. 300 dev from AI Ulm. There's the peace deal. Taking a bunch of land from Austria here. Not even taking the province they wanted in the war. But instead choosing to take more land from Austria. Oh my, it's a nationalist war declared by the Pope, but Germany, they have claims on all of Italy here. So they, uh, they're they occupying these provinces. They might actually get um, some land in this. Yeah, yeah. They got land in this peace deal from the Pope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine provinces in this peace deal by the Pope. No, even more. 888,000 men now. 260K from Austria. I'm still impressed that Austria was able to get Vienna up to 126 dev. Move their new capital, Constantinople. That's up 66 dev. Oh, they peace out again, taking a lot of Poland, giving back a lot of Poland. AI doing that a lot this patch, taking provinces and just giving it back. Losing their permanent claims in these provinces because of that nonsense, so that's kind of cool of them. Oh, they peaced out Poland for a lot of provinces here. Oh, and they peaced out of the whole war. Pushing 5,000 dev almost, about 250 away from that. And full economic hegemony soon. Well, everybody, that does it. It is uh, game over, January 3rd, 1821. Well, guys, that does it for this Observer campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please enjoy this time lapse as we close out the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe down below. It really helps out the channel. We have some exciting new things that will be coming shortly. I will be posting a teaser, hopefully within the next week, to illuminate you guys on what I have planned. With that being said, guys, thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.